Now the person I'm responding to is in fact the same person that I'm going to make a video response in my 400 stuff special. Now I would like to point out that the video has been removed from YouTube. This is not uncommon for feminists to do, seeing that Miss Zelda NES along with that one girl who basically is just a lacy green clone have removed their videos. For some reason, I'm not so sure why. Maybe this person had a change of heart. Or maybe he fears that if someone like the likes of, say, Teal Deer gets a hold of the original video, he would tear him a new asshole. To be honest, I would love to see this person actually defend his position on feminism, but I would not hold my breath. That being said and done, consider this video a 375 sub special. Let's get it over with. I hear voices in my head, they counsel me, they understand. So today I wanted to discuss the whole feminism versus egalitarian debate and basically my two cents on the whole matter. Why do I have the feeling that the only reason you made this video is because you saw my video making fun of your friend and I made a video in such a strange style that you had to make a video response to me on your side channel by dismissing my points entirely. After all, you made this video not too far apart from the video response that you gave me, and you felt like you haven't gotten enough attention on your side channel, so you decided to go to your main channel and clean up your act. So what is the feminism versus egalitarian debate, you might ask? Well, the feminism versus egalitarian debate is basically when feminists will say something like this. Well, why do you call yourself an egalitarian? You might as well call yourself a feminist. Or this. Well, why would you call yourself a feminist? You might as well call yourself a gender egalitarian. Now, I know that a lot of YouTubers take the whole versus thing literally and actually compare the definitions of one another and say, well, feminism stands for this. Let's take this definition. This is what it stands for. Uh, egalitarian means this. This is what it stands for. And they basically throw around all of these different definitions as a way to say, well, either feminism's better or egalitarianism's better. But at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter on what the definition is, what matters is the actions. Usually at least with egalitarian being better because, well, feminism says it's in the advocacy of women's rights to be equal to men. And many people say, well, they're focusing on women being equal. They're only focusing on women, whereas egalitarianism is mainly focusing on everyone. And guess what modern day feminists complain about? Such stupid things like ban bossing and man spreading. And let's not forget that feminists even today are still using outdated arguments like the wage gap myth and the race statistic myths, which of course you in your videos about me, you have no problem accepting. To force the ideology that women are being paid less than men due to no other factors outside of sexism. And also, which has been proven, you go on to say it's been debunked, the number's been debunked, the idea of women being pay less has not been debunked, so... Way to go. And no, I did not edit that. He actually just literally just stated that I am wrong because apparently I'm wrong. That's it. He didn't provide any links, he didn't say any sources whatsoever, he just says, I am wrong and moved on. However, is that really the case? Firstly, I think it's a bit naive to generalize feminism because there's many different types of feminism, there's many different types of feminists, and there's all types of feminists out there. Yes, it is true, there are many groups of feminism. However, many feminists, regardless on which group you are in, they share a common core ideology and slash or arguments. As long as that common core ideology is flawed, then it wouldn't matter if you are a liberal feminist, radical feminist, trans feminist, or whatever. A flawed ideology is still flawed. There is very few groups of feminists that I actually do agree with, such as freedom feminists and choice feminists, but other feminists would chew you out if you don't follow these common core arguments, such again, the wage gap myth. People like Christina Hoff Summers who have criticized the wage gap have been called stupid by other feminists. Some of them are even going as far as to say that she's using MRA tactics, if not she's an MRA. It's just like saying that you don't disagree with Christianity, just a branch, therefore it is pointless to go against Christianity because there is nothing wrong with it. In other words, if you are a feminist, you must believe these common core ideologies in order to be a feminist. Otherwise, you're just using feminism to say you are in for equality, but in reality, you just want to get laid. And the sad thing is, it's true 
that for white knights on the internet, you're just trying to get laid. People like yourself. For example, I'm way different to an anarcho-feminist. There are so many segments of the feminist movement to just generalize it with this Google definition just seems a bit weird. And this is where the paraxis versus theory argument comes in. If a group of people actually practice on what they preach, then the paraxis, which is basically their actions, meets its theory, which is basically their ideologies. But seeing that we see modern day feminists act so goddamn stupid and use crazy ideologies to somehow show that we're still living in a world full of sexism, it's pretty goddamn clear that the paraxis does not meet its theory. Now, definitions can be useful. Don't think I'm being absolute in this statement saying, oh, you can't look up the definition of a cat. That's not the true definition of a cat. Yet we see plenty of feminists out there are using the fucking dictionary like if it's like the fucking Bible to justify their entire movement. Seriously, take a look at this. Feminism is equality. 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 Hey, you're over there. Who, uh, me? Hey, yeah, do you believe that men and women are equal? Uh, yeah, yeah, of course I do. I mean, I, I mean, who, who, who wouldn't? Well, you're a feminist, that's great. So, uh, no, I'm not a feminist. But y you just said that men and women are equal. That's, that's feminism. No, that's not feminism because, uh, I believe that, like, men have problems too. Like, 75% of people who commit suicide are men, and I think that's a really big problem, and that's why I think feminism uh, is wrong. No, no, see, that's, that's feminism, believing that men and women are equal. See, feminism can help that by helping men be more emotionally open and honest about how they feel. Being a feminist is very simple. It just means I believe in gender equality. And that's it. That is literally 100% it. Hey kiddos, do you believe that both genders should be treated equally? If yes, then congrats my friend. You are a feminist. And yes, Women, men, children, old people, and your crazy uncle all have the ability to be feminists. In this video, I'm going to make it very clear that feminism is not misandry. Feminism is a collection of movements and ideologies that share a common goal to define, establish, and achieve equal political, economic, cultural, and per personal and social rights for women. So that's equality. The advocacy of women's rights on the grounds of political, social, and economic equality. And the people pursuing the gender equality I'll call feminists. You see, we get plenty of feminists on the internet, along with pretty much everywhere, that they're trying to justify an entire movement based solely on the dictionary. But what I'm saying is that it would make more sense to pick one type of feminism, argue against that type of feminism, maybe the more common type of feminism, and then base your argument off that. If we only focus on the extremists, say like the radicals, and basically put it on all feminists, then you actually have a point. But seeing that we tackle more on the common core arguments that are flawed within every goddamn feminist ideology, then yeah, it's not really much a straw manning, is it now? go into the literature of that movement and basically criticize it in that subsection of the movement. You really can't find a concrete definition by searching a Google definition. If there's so many different subgenres within it, and there's so many different stuff inside of the genre, which atomizes it into this huge clusterfuck of so many different ideas. This even applies with egalitarianism, though egalitarianism is a bit more basic and a bit more straightforward. The thing is though, with egalitarianists, you don't see them pull the fire alarm in the, under the name of egalitarianism, in the same sense that you don't see egalitarianists says bomb threats to the likes of Protein World because, oh no, a woman got objectified. We got to stop it. Now, I would say if you're going to label yourself as an egalitarian, if you really want to be specific, go with a universal egalitarian. 
That way it makes sure that you're known as someone who cares for everybody in the world. Not just men and women and a few others. Dog, are you disappointed that someone is not going to be a part of your hive mind? What a shame. Now what I will say is that feminism is an egalitarian movement. In theory, yes. But in paraxis, well, let's just say, hells no! Feminism is striving for men and women to be equal to one another. <laughs> to where the woman gender and the male gender can both unite. Like trying to bend the word bossy because women can't handle a simple word. And that word is bossy. Seriously, we can gain gender equality by simply allowing girls to ride on our backs and still call it equality. And be equal together, and to where they don't have any disadvantages. As long as it benefits women, of course. Because if it doesn't, then it's not really a gender problem, now is it? It's not to where they want to implement a matriarchy, and to where they want to make it to where women are the superior race and men are just puny scum. But it's completely okay to create a hashtag called kill all men. Because if that was the case, the definition would be, well, women are currently in superior. However, that will all change once we implement a matriarchy. <laughs> and it's a good thing too, because otherwise feminists would never be able to justify feminism based solely on this fucking dictionary. Because that's simply not the case. Feminism is an egalitarian movement. However, does that necessarily mean that an egalitarian is a feminist? Well, not exactly. Because while feminism is an egalitarian movement, there is way more stuff to do with feminism than just egalitarianism. There's so many ideas which you're just brushing off. Now really, what I'm trying to get at, just because you're an egalitarian, that doesn't automatically make you a feminist. However, if you're a feminist, then you technically are an egalitarian if you agree that men and women should be equal. Even though you defended a guy who basically says that egalitarianism and feminism is basically the exact same thing by stating that feminism is just a branch of egalitarianism. Yeah. However, does all this fighting really matter? To me, it doesn't matter what someone labels himself as. Just so long as they know that everyone should be equal, they don't care who's trying to make it equal, whether it be a feminist, an egalitarian, an equalist, a humanist, or a masculinist, or anyone. But of course, it would be very, very nice if everyone just became a feminist, so that way we can all live in happy, happy land! And plus, it's kind of important on how they're going to achieve equality, because... <laughs> If it involves castrating males, well then, I guess I have to go against feminism! So long as they're not biased people, and they can look at things with an open mind, be respectful to one another, and not care that much that their friend may refer to themselves as a feminist or an egalitarian. Because, in the end of the day, just so long as people know that we should be fighting against inequality, that's all that matters. People that label themselves as egalitarians and feminists should both unite together to fight inequality. Except that feminists do not fight for equality. They bitch and moan about stupid things. And if we were living in a third world country, then yeah, I would say, yeah, egalitarians and feminists should unite together. I would even go as far as to call myself as a feminist. But feminists don't focus on third world problems. They focus on first world problems that are completely ridiculous. Instead of separating each other and getting into war over a name. Because just so long as you're not this crazy MRA that agrees with Stefan Molyneux or Girl Rights Watch. Oh, I would love for you to make a video on the MRA so that way the doctor, Random McCam, or, or how you pronounce his name, I, I can't pronounce his name, um, basically makes a video response to you debunking your entire video and making you look stupid. Or if you're this radical feminist that believes that women are the superior race and men need to be wiped off, then there isn't really an issue. Just so long as you're out for the betterment of other people, 
or even actually accomplish that and actually go out and make the world a better place. Like manspreading! It's a big fucking issue! Apparently! Just so long as you aren't judgmental of other people's beliefs. Are you kidding me? Feminists do this shit all the fucking time, especially with other feminists who don't follow the traditional wage gap ideology. So that is all for I have to say for now. Thank you for watching my videos. I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace the game out.